Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Good evening. This is where it all starts. My respect for you is unending. An Academy Award, a Writers Guild Award, four Tonys, the Olivier, the CBE, and Knight Bachelor. These are just a few of the honours that have been bestowed on the man hailed as England's most intellectually nimble playwright. Tonight, for his lifetime achievement in writing for motion pictures, we present the Writers Guild Laurel Award for Screen to Sir Tom Stoppard. Oh, there's more, Tom, there's more. Tom, as he's known to complete strangers like myself, <laughs> has been described as a writer of serious comedies, humorous plays which deal with ideas of great weight and significance, with ingenious wordplay and a knack for presenting opposing philosophical views without actually revealing his own. Tom's characters often seek to find meaning in their existence as he writes of the importance of art and intellect to society. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, a true virtuoso, Sir Tom Stoppard. <laughs> oh my goodness, oh my goodness. Thank you. Thank you very much indeed. I can't hear myself. Thank you. Well, I have a good number of friends here, and I'm grateful for that. Um, it's, it's truly um, particular. It's not like any other. You know what I mean. Uh, an award from writers to writers. It is just not like any other, and I am really touched. Um, goodness, the way Alfred, where are you? Uh, I mean, <clears throat> the, way you, the, the way you talk about me, and other people too, um, I, I, I feel I have to slightly distance myself from this extraordinarily intellectual philosopher who um, is sort of trying to invade the world of film. I've been coming here for probably, uh, yeah, more than 40 years I've been coming to Los Angeles. I was very frightened the first time I came. And now, 40 years later, I'm merely just a little nervous. <laughs> it is, um, th there is a, a sort of curious contradiction at the heart of this. Um, uh, the gentleman earlier read a little bit from a play of mine, and you know, it's kind of what you would expect to be chosen, and you know, I'm grateful, thank you. It, it's, it was nice to hear those words again, of course. But <clears throat> there's something which um, half the people in this room um, will probably understand extremely well at least half. And it is that the whole notion of particular words in a particular order um, is founded differently in cinema. As a matter of fact, um, you know, it's, it's nice to to have some flashy stuff quoted and, uh, and you know, quite pleased with some of it. But what is really far, far more interesting to me when I consider it is that um, in a given year, the lines I really, really wish I'd written are lines of extremely simple words, in fact, quite banal lines, and they achieve their detonation entirely from situation. And I think that's really hard to do. I'm not a great screenwriter, I don't think. I'm, I like screenwriting. I'm a bit talkative. <laughs> but the line, uh, you know, look, when um, <clears throat> Tommy Lee Jones says to Harrison Ford, I don't care, I would give so much to have written that line, you know. <laughs> Uh, uh, 
I don't care. I mean, how... So, there's no time to get into this. I'm just trying to make a point. <laughs> All right, there's one I actually would have much, much preferred to write, even more than the immortal I don't care. Um, I would have liked to write Bill Murray when he zapped the Amazonian deity and said, this chick is toast. <laughs> um, in London a few days ago, the BAFTA dom nominations, um, two writers um, nominated for screenplays this year came up to me and, I mean, I was just kind of so touched by the way they were. They, they were, they were young. And they treated me as though I were extremely old, but more than that, this, they, they deferred to somebody who was senior rather than old. And they told me how much my things meant to them and all that. And I've never felt that, you know, I've, saw, I've seen the movies these, these, two, these two writers had just recently completed. And I just thought, how am I supposed to explain to you two young men that I could learn from you and hope to? I hope that will always be true. Um, but for the moment, I would just like to say that I'm sincerely touched by this award. It means a lot to me. And um, I'll always be nervous in Los Angeles, but... <laughs> Um, I'm just sort of learning to not kind of panic when I'm here. And thank you all extremely, very much indeed. Thank you. <laughs>